Hello there, welcome to this episode of the Gearblocks tutorial series. I'll be assuming that you've already seen the previous episodes, so if you haven't already, please watch those first. In this video we'll talk about parts with behaviours such as motors and lights, and how to use them. And so far we've mostly been using parts without behaviours such as beams and plates, that are really there to provide structure to our constructions. But in the first video of this uh, series we did see a part with uh, behaviour, a seat, which we can highlight and press E to activate. Press E again to deactivate it. Here's another part with a behaviour, a light. And again we can press E to switch it on and off. And a motor as well. Now some parts with behaviours have a UI we can use to configure various options. But not all parts with behaviours have a part behaviour UI. For example the seat, as you can see in the bottom right corner, the option to configure it is greyed out, whereas if we highlight the light, it's available to use. And to do this we can hold down left shift and E to bring up the part behaviour UI. So we can try assigning a key to trigger the light by clicking this button here, pressing a key, and now if we switch the light on, it doesn't do anything until we hold down that key. If we go back into the UI again, we can check this option here so that the key toggles activation rather than having to hold it down. So it now switches it on and off like that. And lastly there's another option here to only allow control when the player is seated in the same construction that the light is part of, but we won't demonstrate that right now. Motor also has a part behavior UI, and again we can bind keys, in this case to trigger forward and reverse on the motor. Switch it on, and now the keys control the motor like that. And there are plenty more options in here as well. We could try, for example, changing the maximum RPM of the motor. Like that. And similar to the light, there are options to toggle activation and only allow control when seated. Along with uh, input smoothing and invert direction, changing the motor's peak torque and an auto brake option. But I won't cover these now, You're, you can play around with those uh, uh, as you experiment with the game. But for now, let's have a look at motorizing the trolley that we built in the last video. So to do that I'm going to have to pull it apart a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just attach one wheel to the side here. With uh, an axle like that. And I'll just duplicate this motor. And we can attach it over here. Now this is not the ideal way to do this really. But until we get onto using gears, this is a quick way to motorize something, so we'll just delete that. We don't need that anymore. Now because we duplicated this, it's already configured to use R and F, but I'm going to reduce the maximum RPM a little bit. And uh, yeah, we can switch this on and try using R and F to move our trolley. Because it's only driving that one wheel, it tends to want to to spin, to, to slip like that. But it, it's enough to get us started. In the next video, we'll introduce gears, and that'll allow us to hook up the motor to drive the entire axle and drive both rear wheels of our trolley. But that's it for now. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.